It's a lime green box that's become familiar to most Canadians. The kits have been used to test for COVID millions of times. I think that everyone, uh, so many people I know, uh, including myself, have relied upon these tests uh, to make decisions for our own health and, and that of our loved ones and, and that of, uh, of other members of the public. It's why there are questions after a global news investigation revealed evidence that the rapid tests importers, Toronto-based BTNX, submitted incomplete data to Health Canada about the test's accuracy. In response to Global News' questions, BTNX described its tests as a reliable testing tool for Canadians. For its part, Health Canada said it found no reason to question the scientific integrity of the studies BTNX submitted. If you have a higher percentage of false negative tests, it can obviously drive people to make decisions that they may not would have otherwise made. And you know that can clearly result in greater transmission of, of infection. The world may have moved beyond the pandemic, but COVID's threat has not gone away. And for those planning to come in contact with the medically vulnerable, rapid tests are regularly requested at this pharmacy. Oh yeah, definitely. People are still looking for it for that reason. They act as a guide whether there is a COVID case or not. The head of Manitoba's Health Coalition says governments need to follow up on what the Global News investigation revealed. This is a huge breach of trust. Uh, in the public health care system, uh, in, my, in my personal opinion. And it's something that we should be demanding answers from. We should be demanding answers from the federal government about this and the provinces, what they knew. BTNX says it did not offer Health Canada or Canadians inaccurate information about the rapid test. The Prime Minister told Global News that his government still has lessons to learn about the pandemic, but did not specify whether those lessons involved the BTNX rapid test. Heather Urex West, Global News, Calgary.